Hi, my name is Piotr Trusiewicz and I'm a marketing manager at Digitronic Autogas. We are visiting Yota Auto, one of the garages that installs Digitronic Autogas systems to show you how to convert a car with direct injection system to drive on LPG. Let's start with checking components of the kit. Sticker of the back of the box will tell you what elements are included. Make sure the box contains safety tag, which ensures originality and completeness of the system. Now let's look inside the box to take out all the elements. In this case, these are Electronic Control Unit, or short ECU, Digitronic DI60 for cars with a four-cylinder direct injection engine. Injectors Digitronic AEB I Plus 4-cylinder Reducer Digitronic Tomasetto AT13 Antarctic Super Dry Gas Filter Digitronic Blaster 1212 Multi-Valve Tomasetto AT02 Toroidal with Coil and Safety Valves Wiring Kit for Digitronic DI60 PT MAP Sensor Digitronic AEB with gas switch. Gas Level Sensor WPG2 90 Ohm. Mounting Kit for Injectors Digitronic AEB. Set of Pipes and Hoses Digitronic Tube Diameter 6 and 8 mm. Use a security cover to keep the driver's seat clean. Run the entrance control before starting installation using OBD to review the parameters of engine operation. Use the security cover to protect other elements of the car body. Begin to prepare space for components of an autogas system. Start from taking off the intercooler radiator. Allocate electronic control unit in waterproof place. Take off the battery if you need more space for ECU. Place wiring under the hood space. Plug electronic control unit to the wiring. Remove thermal protection from the corners of the heater. Squeeze cooling hoses with the help of clamps and cut them. Fit the reducer and connect the hoses. Put thermal protection back in place. Remove the connector from the petrol controller and check the wires, which go to petrol injectors. Connect remaining wires of the gas ECU using this scheme. Drag wires to the cabin for the gas switch and OBD. Select appropriate place for the gas switch. Drill a hole for the plug. Mount the plug and the button into place. Use glue if necessary. Connect wires to the ignition switch. Make sure that all connections are securely isolated. Make sure to reconnect all plugs that were disconnected during installation. Drill holes in the intake manifold leading to the center of collector. Do it at low speed using drill number 5. Use lubricant to make sure the dirt will not hit the collector. Use tab M6 in order to carve 4 threads in the drilled holes. Make 4 threads in the intake manifold and 1 in the receiver to connect the map sensor. Clean all holes from potential dirt. Apply sealant on manifold nozzles. Screw in manifold nozzles into the collector. Make sure nozzles are aiming at the center of the collector. Prepare the injector rail. Install the side plugs. Install all four nozzles to the holes of the injector rail. Secure nozzles using attached clamps. The injector rail is assembled and ready to be mounted. Fit the injector rail close to the manifold nozzles. Connect each nozzle of the injector rail to its collector using D6, D5 gas hose and secure them with clamps. Install dry gas filter with pre-attached hoses. Connect the MAP sensor. Connect gas supply hose with the ring clamp to injector rail. Install the radiator back in place. At the back of a car, pull out the spare wheel from the trunk. 
This space will be used to allocate the gas tank. Install the gas tank with fixed multivalve. Install the filling points in the pre-drilled hole at selected place. Make sure all elements of gas connections are well tightened. Ensure that the filling points will enable safe and convenient attachment of the gas pistol. Place all removed elements back in place as all components of the autogas system are assembled. In order to download the latest version of direct injection software, go to www.digitronicgas.com website. In the top right corner, you will find available languages of our website. In the bottom right corner, you will find box with direct contact to Digitronic. Go to Technical Support under Resource Center section. You will always be informed if we provide any updates of any software or any documents, so visit us frequently. We do our best to provide you with precise information about what to do. If you still have questions, contact us. In the technical support section of our website, you will find many helpful documents, including manuals, approvals, and software. Go to Direct Injection area of Software Download and download the software. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always contact us. Go to Downloaded file and unpack it or click directly on setup.exe to begin installation. Now just follow the steps of installation wizard. Type in username and organization. Depending on the number of users on computer, select appropriate option. You can select the type of setup. We always recommend to use complete version. In order to unpack driver, click on Extract and follow further steps, such as License Agreement. Installation of the software is now complete, and new icon with the shortcut to the application appeared on your desktop. Run the program and use Digitronic USB interface to connect gas ECU with computer. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see that DI60 ECU was detected. Click Configure. At the beginning, upload an appropriate configuration file. Click on the Upload file. Select Appropriate Configuration File. In this case, it is Mazda CX-7. When the file is selected, click on Load. You can see at the bottom that the configuration file has been loaded into the ECU. Start the engine and click Configure. Go to Maps tab and check the timing of injection, RPM, as well as other indications. Switch the car to gas. The first transition will not be comfortable. You can see in the bottom left corner that the car operates on gas. Go to Maps tab and look at the testimony Fuel Trim Short and Fuel Trim Long, Fast and Slow Adaptation. Based on those parameters, adjustment of the map in all models of the engines will take place. The sum of short and long trim should oscillate close to zero depending on the car. Switch to petrol. Short trim should be on gas, similar to the sum on petrol. Switch back to gas and look at the current injection time and the actual value of the adaptation coefficients. On petrol, they are close to zero. Go to Vehicle tab. Compare the actual gas pressure with the one installed in the program. Go to Sensors tab. Choose the type of gas level sensor. In this case, select AEB and wait a moment as the system will switch to petrol. Switch the car back to gas and memorize the value of fuel trim short. Then switch the car to petrol and compare fuel trim short. The value should be slightly increased. Set the minimum opening time of the injectors. Go to OBD tab. Set the connection parameters for the OBD. Check the petrol unit for errors. In this case, there are no errors. Go to Petrol Pressure tab. Check the indicator of the petrol pressure sensor. Go to Inch Strat tab and set parameters if necessary. Go to Maps tab and begin correction of the map. Select the required area of the map and carry out corrections. The result of correction is controlled on the rapid coefficient adaptation. Continue adjusting the map until you reach the norm. The difference should be plus minus 5% of the norm. We correct the whole map in statics. Then this card should also be checked in motion with different RPM. Go to Inch Strat tab and enter the parameters of extra injection. There are no additional injections in this car. This is why this tab does not affect calibration. 
go to Vehicle tab and once again check Fuel Corrections. Carry out the final corrections. Check Fuel Trim Shorts in motion. For a more precise operation on the gas, change the parameter from 0 to 1. The same setting is repeated in motion. Wait around 15 seconds to begin. After setting in motion, open the configuration and once again monitor the parameters. Go to the Data Display section, check the parameters again and make sure that no errors were detected in the gas ECU. Once again, make sure that no error was detected in the gas ECU. Save all the settings to the computer for safety reasons and future calibrations. Setup is complete. We congratulate you and your client choosing best to fit Autogas system from Digitronic Autogas. Remember, you can always go to www.digitroniggas.com or contact us directly at support at digitroniggas.com for further assistance. In the meantime, like our Facebook fan page at www.facebook.com slash digitronicgas for information, news and current promotions.